if you've got so much fear and self-doubt as a musician, then this is for you. You cannot continue to allow fear and self-doubt to get in your way of taking advantage of opportunities in your career and in your life. When I get on calls with people who decide that they want to try to take the chance on themselves, that's exactly what the calls are. And what I mean by that is a lot of people, and you might be one of these people, they don't see the outcome of their music. They don't see that, oh, maybe I can actually make something happen with my music. Maybe I can make the money. Maybe I can play in those arenas. Maybe I can go on tour. Maybe I can live the life that I want. You don't see that. You don't see that. Now, you continuing to make decisions based on that fear isn't going to help you. And it it really comes down to one of two choices. You can either, A, continue to live the life that you're living, which is in fear and self-doubt, living for other people, not really ever doing anything worthwhile in your music, or you can say, you know what? I'm going to make the change. I'm going to actually do something with my life and myself because you believe in your music. You do. You keep saying you don't believe it, but obviously that's why you do music. You love your music. Now, do you have to play in arenas? No. Do you have to make a bunch of money? No. I have clients who have full-time jobs. Like Ryan B has a full-time career. Actually, he works for Sure Microphone, and he loves his career, and he wants to do his music still. He wants to see how far his music can go. He doesn't really necessarily care what happens. He just loves music, and he didn't want to keep being a victim to not being able to produce his own songs. At the end of the day, that's what he did. That's why he chose to come into the Academy, and what ended up happening with him, in 90 days, he produced over 30 instrumentals, produced, wrote, recorded five tracks and fully mixed and mastered one of those tracks. Now he's setting out to start releasing a bunch of songs this year. And the coolest part is he owns the rights. So that's one example. Okay. Devin Christodoulou in Canada, he used to pay over a thousand dollars per song. Okay. He had never produced anything. He had, he had written songs and he had put them out, but other people had done the instrumentals and the mixing mastering. And he said, you know what? I want to take advantage of my own career. I am going to take the leap of faith and work with, work with me, work with Lee. And in the Academy, he's fully written and produced, mixed and mastered five songs. He, he, he's doing amazing. And he didn't even take full advantage of everything in the Academy. He, he only really looked at one part of it, which is our video course. But the point is like, the people who get results in life, these two, Nip and Kobe, you think Nip, you think Nipsey just decided, you know what? I don't believe in myself, man. Fuck this music thing. No. He was like, dude, I'm going to take a chance on myself. I'm going to bet on myself. Same with Kobe. Kobe tells the story all the time, actually. Kobe tells the story all the time when he was 13 years, years old. He, he, his words, I sucked. He wasn't good, but he kept working. He kept believing himself. He kept trying. You don't achieve great things in life. You don't live the life that you want by just being like, uh, I don't believe in myself. <laughs> no, you fucking don't. You, 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 you say to yourself, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take that leap. Like, I've got the money. I've got, it's now or never. It's not, oh, another day. Oh, I need my 24 hours. Oh, let me wait six. No, 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 fucking no, no, no. It's none of that shit. Like you want something taken care of. Like you get an opportunity. You fucking take advantage of it. You don't fucking get on. And and the opportunity doesn't just come to you and you go, you ever hear like, you ever hear of like opportunity comes knocking. You better save it a seat at the table. Opportunity is not going to come knock and be like, yo, you ready? And then you're like, oh, wait, I, I, I need 24 hours. Oh, God, I wish I could just wait six months. Opportunity is going to be like, cool, peace. I'm going to go to the next person. And opportunity is going to knock on the next door. And that person is going to be like, huh, I've been waiting for you to show up. Come on in. And you know what's going to happen? Six months later, opportunity is still going to be at that person's house. And you're going to be like, Opportunity, where are you? I'm ready, I'm ready. And Opportunity's gonna be like, fuck you, dude, you waited too long. 
That's real life. That's really how the fuck life works. So in your little fucked up head, you might sit here and think to your fucking self, oh, you know what, bro? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna set up my own little ideal situation and I'm gonna just wait six months. You think that, you, you, you have the audacity to think you have that kind of power. You fucking don't. Instead of being a fucking slave to your self-doubt and your little fucking pity party, how about you do this? Be a friend to winning. Go befriend winning. Go befriend victory. Go befriend opportunity by taking advantage of that shit right when it fucking gets presented to you and stop being a little fucking bitch. Stop being a bitch. Take action. Over take, take too much action. Take more action than fucking think, 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 think. You've already been thinking about your music for five to 10 years. You've already gotten to this point and said to your fucking self, God damn, I need to make a change. You've already gotten to this point. Then guess what the fuck happens? I come around and I present you an opportunity to change your motherfucking life and you're, oh, I gotta wait. Oh, I need to think. Fuck thinking about it. How about that? You've already been thinking about it, motherfucker. It's already been five to 10 years. In the coaching world, we have these things called VSLs, video sales letters. This, this, fuck that, this ain't even one of them. Video sales letter, you got a fucking framework. I have one of those, go watch it. Click the link in my description. That's a VSL. You got a framework, you know, whatever. You got a whole thing, you show client results. You know what this video fucking is? This is me telling you, do not fucking talk to me. Do not fucking book a call with me. Do not fucking get on my calendar. If you're going to be one of these people who lets fear and self-doubt cripple them so much that you'll never make a fucking decision. Fuck those smoke screens of I need to wait a few months or I need to, no, don't fuck with me. Please do not fuck with me. Don't, because I'm, this is me right here. These are, this is me. Take action, killer, and I don't mean kill you. I want to kill your self-doubt. I want to kill your self-doubt with you. But like, this will be my CTA. It's an anti-CTA. Don't book a call with me. Don't like my videos. Don't subscribe to my channel. Do not follow me on Instagram. Leave me on red. Don't talk to me. If you're one of these people who's throwing themselves a fucking pity party, don't talk to me if you're one of these people who can't even get out of their own fucking way. You click the link in the description, you're gonna find out how to produce your own music in 90 days. And in that video, there's a link to book a call. Do it if you're ready to fucking rock and roll. Don't do it if you're not.